on the right hand side is Alta. Very Instagrammable, guys. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys and girls and Ash Japanese, it's your flashy Pasha reporter, Kathy Cat. And today we're gonna go and walk around Harajuku. The winter illumination is up on Omotosano and it's bound to be super pretty. So it's one of our goals on the way. I'm also gonna show you the new station building. We're currently on the other side of the station. We are at the Takeshita exit, which is the quickest exit to take you to Takeshita Street. We're gonna go down Takeshita. And since Harajuku is like my back pocket and my favorite place in Tokyo, I'm going to give you some trivia about Harajuku as we go along. Let's go! There's a recent trend that happened during the pandemic here. And that's a group of YouTubers usually hangs out right now here at the top of Takeshita. That's like a new thing that started during the pandemic. They will stand on the corner and ask people to subscribe to them. Oh! Like, hey! Hey! Okay, they're also hanging out here right now and they're saying hi to people and asking people to subscribe to them right now. So, yeah. If you see them, be sure to say hi to them too. Okay, see you. That's so fun. All right. Hey. What's up? Oh, all is good. Where are you going? Are you one of the YouTubers too? Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Oh, what's your channel name? Channel name? Sartines. Sartines? Sartines. Sartines. Are you doing it by yourself? No, like three. Oh, three. Right, and you're saying hi to get today? Today what? You're saying hi to people today? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, awesome. Uh, hey. <laughs> See, so if you come here, be sure to say hi to the YouTubers that are here. You might find a new favorite channel. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye! Super friendly! Alright! On the left hand side here, there used to be a WeGo. That's gone now to my surprise, because WeGo is a huge franchise. But La Ponsa is still here on the second floor in McDonald's. So if you come here and you're hungry, these are two cheap places, two cheap alternatives to get yourself some food while you're here. Next up, Paris Kids is great for cute accessories and they're cheap. Pretty much everything here is 3,030 yen. The big camera is also new for electronic goods. It's taken up a little bit of the space of the Daiso that's right next to it. So if you need some like last minute little things, 100 yen store is the place. One of my favorite shoe stores is here, CST and P. It's cheap and it actually fits my shoe size. I got big foreign feet. Oh, today's shoes are not from them though. Oops, <laughs> of all days. A couple of stores are here that have been here forever. But Wendy's has now been become replaced by a Yamahisa, a used clothing store. There's a lot of stores that also have closed down, like these ones here on the right. So currently, Harajuku does not look the way it used to look if you've been here before. On the right hand side is Alta, which is like a mini department store with loads and loads of cute little stores inside. The stores inside have changed quite a lot as well. This store is really run by a really cute lady who her heart has, her heart is totally in Harajuku fashion. If you want to get yourself some nice shoes or accessories, that's a really nice place to go. You can really tell that her heart is the heart of a person from Harajuku. The cotton candy factory with the big rainbow cotton candy is actually here on the right hand side. Now it looks like they're closed already. I hope they're not closed for good. This is where Ash Japanese used to take street interviews. 
Currently though, both buildings are under construction, which makes me question, what's gonna happen next? <laughs> One of the specialities of Harajuku are the crepes. Usually you're not supposed to walk and eat in Japan, but there are exceptions such as crepe. So this is the kind of food that high school girls will go and get and eat. And over there is ACT rack, ACTC rack. This is a must stop. If you come to Harajuku, you have to go to ACDC Rack. It's a must. This is one of the last Harajuku fashion stores that are still near to Keshta Street because we had so much change during the pandemic. Highly can recommend you the store. It's cute, cute fashion. It's affordable, cute fashion. Definitely go and check them out. Yes. I own so many t-shirts and clothes and items from them. <laughs> All right, we have cost, cheap cosplay body line. They have uh, the kind of reputations there. But underneath, we have this really colorful clothing store that's been here forever. Definitely worth checking out. There are some really affordable costumes in there as well. If you're a performer, this is a place to go to. <clears throat> At this point in time, you're probably running out of cash because you bought so much stuff. So remember, it is an ATM right here. So if you run out of your cash, you can actually refill a little bit. Oh, there's a couple of tapioca milk tea places. Oh gosh, this place is closed down too. All right. Cute Cube Harajuku is on the right hand side here. Whoops. Cute Cube Harajuku is on the right hand side here. It has Zaku Zaku and similar places in it. Definitely worth checking out if you have some time. Also, they have Candy A Go Go inside. And Candy A Go Go is actually the location where they filmed the uh, Hello Kitty, You're So Pretty Avril Lavigne music video. So that's that was in here. <laughs> There's also a Pom Pom Pouring Cafe and a San store in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a lot of cool masks here in case you need some colorful masks because everyone in Japan right now is wearing masks. Do not not wear a mask. Show some respect to the people that live here, legit. <laughs> Yeah, 99% of people are wearing masks. This is where two alas used to be. Unfortunately, they closed down this year too and no one else has replaced them yet. It's a lot more food stores now on Takeshita Street. Food and makeup has kind of taken over a lot. But Yotsuke is still here, which is another really good shoe store. If you love plateau shoes, you know, when you have a bit of a wedgie heel, they're number one for those. They're light, they're good to wear, they don't hurt. Uh, on the right hand side here is where Listen Flavor Loot used to be, but they just closed down, so sniff, sniff. <laughs> All the sniff sniff. <laughs> All right. And you're coming around here. In front of us is So La Do. So La Do has fashion for, I think, elementary school and middle school kids. That's a thing here in Japan. So Pink Latte is one of those brands that is for very young girls. But they also upstairs have like a food court and there are also some bathrooms in the food court. There is a big Wego on the left hand side here. So if you miss the Wego on the entrance, there is another one here now. <laughs> so 
So we're coming out of that area now. There's some sweet stores here. We have the Ice World one, which is like cute ice cream. And another crepe store with like very tasty, huge crepe. My gosh, I haven't had crepe in ages. I feel like having one. Okay, uh, let's cross. Shall we cross or shall we just go right now? Let's go right now then. All right. Hey. There's a lot of fast food and snack in this kind of snacky places here, a karaoke place and more snacky snacks. The Galaxy Store on the right does not just promote phones, but also all the abilities that the Galaxy phones have, including the camera, the um, like different different types of phones and all kinds of fancy things. They even have a 3D experience upstairs. It's a lot of things they do and it's for free. So if you want to kill some time, the Line Store friends, yeah, it's on the left hand side. There used to also be the Kawaii Monster Cafe, but unfortunately, just a little bit ahead, that's where the cafe was, but unfortunately that one had to close too. It's now a Kurazushi place. right we actually filmed here before for TV and we got them to put everything we wanted onto a crepe that's a video you definitely should check out it's like Japan's biggest crepe we made already here we are in front of the one of the hearts of Harajuku fashion this is La Foray it's a huge department store with all kinds of brands including also the Sailor Moon store they throw a lot of cool events here too Ooh. and we have reached Omoto Sando now That's sparkly. So Omoto Sando now from here on onwards, the stores are going higher and higher in price the further you're going away from the station. So we have loads of famous, worldwide famous brands. And right now in winter, they have the winter illuminations up. Tokyo Plaza looks even more magical now with the light at the end of it.
Instagrammable, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Can you take all of that in? I got some mesmerized. I totally forgot to give you some extra trivia. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's go over the bridge. We're bound to see a really good sight. Oh no, they stopped the bridge! No way! Yeah, the stores here are getting more and more expensive. Star jewelry and fancy. Dior is on our right. Oh, all right. So what they're doing is they stop people and make sure that the cars can go through. Especially in crowded areas in Tokyo is super helpful. Yeah, this is so, so pretty. So on our left hand side, we have Omoto Sando Hills. You can see it's very high class brands and exhibitions and such. And we are aiming to get that traffic light over there. Are you gonna make it? <laughs> Shall we cross? <laughs> All right, let's cross. Wow, that's so pretty. <laughs> They're like, please, uh, don't, don't uh, spend too much time taking videos and pictures here. That's why we had to cross really fast. It's <laughs> another smoking area on the right. Oh, 
hope you can't hear me all sniffle. My sniffly sniffles, it's kind of cold. <laughs> Oh, question, director. What does the X, the triangle, and the circle mean? Squid game. Squid game. It's not squid game. What is it? Do you know? Oh, you don't know either? I wonder what it is for. If you guys know, let us know in the comments. Oh, look at Dior. Fancy, fancy. And Chanel. Oh my. On our left now, we should have Cat Street. Ta -da. This is a cozy little street with lots of extra little stores. It's kind of artsy. You have some really nice restaurants on that street too. And it's just a little bit more calmed down. So yeah, also a good place to go to. I think Tiffany's is there still now too. Mm. As you can see, it's a lot less flashy, but still smaller boutiques and smaller stores here. Shibuya. Yeah, and you can see Shibuya, the new scramble building. All right. Sometimes fascinating, you just turn one right and it gets so quiet. On our left, we have like cute cafes, a lot of tapioca milk tea places, the ones that are still left. And on our right, we're gonna go back to the main street. Yeah, we, we like going to Fridays from time to time for lunch. It's a good it's a good lunch place. They have cheap lunch.
It's a collab here. It's like a German brand EP. What? No way. Yeah, it's like a really cute German brand EP. At least I know it from Germany. Maybe it's not German, but I only know it from Germany. Cool stuff. they have now people stationed because of the light up to stop people from stopping and taking pictures so that's how they make sure that people actually <laughs> don't block this the road the pictures of lights It's a little bit too warm now. take part of the journey. Wow. Oh. I mean like flickering Christmas lights and all of that colorful stuff is nice but to be honest I prefer the classic like this. I think this is way more romantic than a blinking neon all colors of the universe, blink, blink, Santa's here kind of thing. I like the classic, simple, quiet time, quiet time of the year kind of thing.
cross over here, we should be able to look down. not allowed to stop but you can look all the way down <laughs> it's magical <laughs> and here we are This is also new guys, this is the new Harajuku station building. So they tore down the old building because it wasn't quite safe anymore for the regulations. And they built up this building here. Let's move away from the car that just stopped. Also, there are now plans for them to actually rebuild the old building because so many people wanted it back. So they said they're gonna make it safer and then possibly build it again in that green area that's over there. So that's good news. This is very good news. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed this walk around Harajuku. We've done more walk videos, for example, this one here. Check it out. Thanks so much for subscribing to Ask Japanese. I'll see you for another adventure here in Tokyo. And if you have some time, check out our socials in the description box. See you guys, bye.